Welcome to CIE Math Solutions. In this video, we will continue the series of math tutorial videos about sequences and series. In today's video, we will focus on finding the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence given its general rule and vice versa. That is, formulating the general rule given the first three terms of the sequence. Welcome to another video of CIE Math Solutions. In the previous videos, we have discussed the basic concepts of arithmetic progression. We have also explored the complete derivation of the formula for the end term of an arithmetic progression. The playlist containing these videos, together with related videos, are found on the link above this video or on the description below. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon for you to be notified when new videos are uploaded. If you have already subscribed, please watch, like, and share the videos of the channel. In this video, we will focus on the end term or general term of an arithmetic sequence. Specifically, we will discuss the following. Finding the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence given its general rule. Formulating the specific or general rule or end term of an arithmetic sequence or progression. But before we proceed, let us have a quick recall of the basic concepts of arithmetic sequences. Given the sequence containing 18, 21, 24, and 27, 18, 21, 24, and 27 are the terms of the sequence, and it is usually denoted by AN. In this case, A1 is 18, which is the first term. A2 is 21, that is the second term. A3 is 24, that is the third term. A4 is 27, which is the fourth term. The distinguishing characteristic of an arithmetic sequence is having the common difference. We can get the common difference by subtracting any two consecutive terms of the sequence. We can subtract 27 minus 24, 24 minus 21, 21 minus 18. The common difference then is equal to 3. We can also recall that the n term or the general term of an arithmetic sequence is given by a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d, where a n is the n term, a1 is the first term, n is the order of the term, and d is the common difference. If you would like to explore the derivation of this formula, click on the link above this video or on the description below. Take note that this formula is the general formula for the n term of an arithmetic sequence. However, each arithmetic sequence has a specific rule. For example, an arithmetic sequence has a rule a n equals 3n plus 1. To find the first three terms of the sequence, let us use 1, 2, and 3 for the value of n. That is, a1 will then be 3 times 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3 plus 1, that is equal to 4. A2 then will have the value of n to be 2. 3 times 2 plus 1 will be 6 plus 1. That is equal to 7. A3 is equal to 3 times 3 plus 1. That is 9 plus 1 which is equal to 10. Therefore, the first three terms then of the arithmetic sequence having the general rule a n equals 3 n plus 1 are 4, 7, and 10. Let us have a few more examples. Find the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence with the general rule a n equals 7 n minus 3, a n is equal to negative 4 n minus 5. For the first rule, 7 n minus 3, 
let us substitute again 1, 2, and 3 for the values of n. That means a1 will be 7 times 1 minus 3, that is equal to 7 minus 3, which is equal to 4. a2 then will have the n equal to 2, that is 7 times 2 minus 3, is equal to 14 minus 3, which is equal to 11. a3 will be 7 times 3 minus 3, which is 21 minus 3, equals to 18. Therefore, the first three terms of the sequence will be 4, 11, and 18. For the second sequence, having the general rule of negative 4 and minus 5, we will again substitute the value of n to be 1, 2, and 3, denoting that they are the first, second, and third terms. a1 then will have negative 4 times 1 minus 5, which is negative 4 minus 5, that is equal to negative 9. a2 then will be negative 4 times 2 minus 5 is equal to negative 8 minus 5, which is equal to negative 13. a3 is negative 4 times 3 minus 5, which is equal to negative 12 minus 5, which is negative 17. Therefore, the first three terms of the sequence will be negative 9, negative 13, and negative 17. Therefore, the first three terms of the sequence having the general rule 7 and minus 3 are 4, 11, and 18. The arithmetic sequence then with general rule negative 4 and minus 5 has the first three terms negative 9, negative 13, and negative 17. How about if you want to do the opposite? How can we find the general rule if the first three terms are given? Let us consider an arithmetic sequence with the terms 13, 19, and 25. Take note that the first term is a1, which is equal to 13. The common difference then would be 6, taking any two consecutive terms. 25 minus 19 is 6. The same with 19 minus 13, which is equal to 6. Now using the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, which is a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d, we will then have a n equals 13, that is the first term, plus n minus 1 times 6, which is the common difference. Simplifying this further, we need to multiply 6 to each of the terms of n minus 1. 6 times n will be 6n, 6 times negative 1 will be negative 6. Combining like terms, we will then have 6n, 13 minus 6 combined will be equivalent to 7. Therefore, the general rule for the sequence is an equals 6n plus 7. Now it's your turn. Find the specific rule or general rule of an arithmetic sequence with the following terms. 17, 26, 35, 3, negative 9, negative 21. If you want to try to answer these items, please pause the video for a while and play if you are done answering the items. Now let us verify if the answer that you got for the sequences are correct. For the first sequence, the first term is equal to 17 and we can find the common difference by subtracting any two consecutive terms, 35 minus 26 or 26 minus 17 which will give us 9 as the common difference. So then, the general rule of the nth term will be 17 plus n minus 1 times d. Simplifying, 17 plus 9 times n is 9n, 9 times negative 1 is minus 9 or negative 9. Simplifying it further, a and n will be 9n, 17 minus 9 is positive 8. Therefore, the general rule for the sequence is a n equals 9 n plus 8. For the second sequence, the sequence contains the terms 3, negative 9, negative 21. Take note that the first term is 3, and the common difference again is taken by subtracting any two consecutive terms, negative 21 minus negative 9, or negative 9 minus 3, that will give us a common difference of negative 12. So then the general rule for the terms of the sequence will be 3 plus n minus 1 times negative 12. Simplifying it further, we have 3 
plus negative 12n plus 12. And combining like terms, negative 12, 3 plus 12 will be positive 15. Therefore, the general rule for the terms of the sequence will be an equals negative 12n plus 5. Summarizing the two, the general rule then for the arithmetic sequence with the terms 17, 26, 35 is given by an equals 9n plus 8. Whereas, the general rule for the arithmetic sequence with the terms 3, negative 9, and negative 21 is given by an equals negative 12n plus 15. To summarize what we have learned today, to find the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence given its general rule, substitute 1, 2, and 3 for the values of n. To find the general rule of a given arithmetic sequence, given its first three terms, substitute the value of a1, which is the first term, and d, which is the common difference, to the formula a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d, then simplify. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on math proofs and derivations, math tutorial videos, solve items from international exams, math tricks and puzzles, math resources and more, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much for your continued support to CIE Math Solutions.